Welcome to the Robert Bateman Center, the gallery of art and nature. Robert Bateman is one of Canada's foremost artists and naturalists. He has a love of the natural world that comes through in his painting. The center is home to the largest collection of Robert Bateman's work of art anywhere in the world. There's over seven decades of his material here in this gallery. But did you know the center also has a temporary gallery, which highlights the work of artists, both professional and emerging? Building on Robert's philosophies, we use art to explore and understand our relationship to nature. The center's latest temporary exhibit is called Box Sanctuary. It is a special partnership that we have with the Surfrider Foundation of Vancouver Island. It is also a collaboration of local artists' work as they explore personal expressions of what is sanctuary. So selected artists have submitted mixed media boxes that are filled with reclaimed materials, handcrafted objects, photographs, drawings that really all explore the question, what is sanctuary to them? The exhibit also hopes to highlight the importance of sacred spaces within the natural landscape. Whether it's an old growth forest, a childhood home, or a stretch of beach, these are spaces that build a sense of place and form a crucial backbone when engaging with our natural world. Yeah, because the ocean for me was my sanctuary, and Sorry. now my sanctuary is at risk. So my piece is about our inability to notice creeping environmental deterioration because we're unable to remember the past accurately. We tend to dismiss stories from older generations in favor of our own experiences. So knowledge of past conditions fade over time. For example, in the fishing industry, we tend to feel like we're catching an abundance of fish now, but three or four generations ago, our nets would be overflowing. So my piece in particular is looking at the changing patterns of ocean salinity due to human-induced climate change, hence all the salt. <laughs> Seawater is becoming fresher in high latitudes because of melting ice, while other places with increased evaporation because of the same higher temperatures are experiencing saltier water. Featured in our exhibit are two special artists. Um, the second one I'm really happy to introduce is Ian Hinkle with his piece, Ocean Sanctuary. I was really lucky several years ago to go to Midway Atoll in the middle of the Pacific. Um, it was like getting out into really the middle of nowhere. It's far, as far away from any continent as one can get. And on that island in the center of the Pacific, it was absolutely shocking to see how much plastic washes up on the beaches. Ocean Sanctuary is a, a three-dimensional piece that I put together using some of the images of albatross from Midway and a collection of plastic that I collected from the island. There's this much plastic in the ocean. We've ignored the planet's future and the there's so much plastic in the ocean that the adult birds now are picking up this plastic here and, and feeding it to their young. I think it's interesting how photography, film, uh, and art can, can help bring us closer to having conversations about conservation issues. And I find that when we, when we look at images like this um, and listen to the stories of a place, we can get to understand just a little more how we're all individually connected to issues of conservation and the environment. And that has a really a phenomenal impact. Mm -hmm. The Box Sanctuary exhibit is one part of a year-long initiative called the Urban Sanctuary Project, which celebrates the 100th anniversary of the Migratory Bird Convention Act, one of the first pieces of legislation that protect a lot of species here in Canada. The act took action to limit destructive human impact of precious coastal ecosystems, including here in Victoria Harbour, one of the first bird sanctuaries in Canada. With increasing environmental impacts and decreasing bird populations worldwide, there's a real need for appreciation and stewardship of our local ecosystems. The Urban Sanctuary Project will look to shine a spotlight on the migratory bird sanctuaries right here in our own backyard through community displays, publications, symposiums, and informative and entertaining exhibits over the course of the year. The Urban Sanctuary Project is an excellent reflection of the philosophy of Robert Bateman, that nature sanctuaries are not just sanctuaries for animals, but for humans as well, as they find refuge in a hectic, changing world. Come and be inspired by the works of Robert Bateman and the Box Sanctuary exhibit, and explore your own relationship to nature. The Robert Bateman Center is open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, please visit our website at batemancenter.org.